Mark 111 is probably the best example in the New Testament of what is called a constitutive aorist and the greatest illustration how you cannot think that time is primary, not even always in the indicative. Kai phone agenata ekton uranon su e ha huiasmu ha agapetas in soy yudokesa. And a voice came, came out of heaven, and even though uranon is plural in the form, we always just say singular in English. You, and you notice the capital sigma, which is the editor's indication he thinks this is direct speech. You are the son of me, you are my son, the beloved. In you, I will come back to this, but am pleased. So there's two questions you have to deal with here. One is, is ha akepe tos in the second attributed position just functioning huyas, in which case you would translate it, you are my beloved son, or is ha akepe tos a substantive that's in apposition to huyas? You are my son, the beloved. And you're going to want to look at the background in Isaiah before you make up your mind on that. But the other thing is this aorist from Eudokesa. And what's really interesting, if you think of the aorist as only indicating time, what's the problem here? Well, the problem is Jesus is at a baptism of repentance for sins, which has its own set of problems. And the voice from heaven says, and you I was pleased. Now, if you wanted to play with this, you could say, I was pleased. I'm not pleased with you now. You're not supposed to be doing this baptism of repentance. After all, you have no sin. What are you doing, Jesus? I was pleased with you, but I'm not at this point. Now, obviously, that's not what God the Father is saying from heaven. But if you're not careful, you look at this heiress and you say, well, in you I was pleased. Well, what does that mean? Well, you remember that the heiress, if you have an event, the heiress looks at the event as a whole. If it were an imperfect, it would be a process, right? And again, one other way to look at this, some people say that the heiress is you're looking at it from the outside, and in the imperfect, you're looking at the process on the inside. There's different ways to say the same basic thing. But the heiress is used to summarize, to look at a whole event and treat it as a singular object, in a sense, looking at it from the outside. And what the voice from heaven is saying is that, and we just know this contextually, I've been pleased with you every day of your life. When I look at your life as a whole, from your birth up until today, well, how do you say that in English? Well, we move into the present. We say, I am pleased. You can't say, I was pleased. So anyway, just a good, a really good illustration of how you have to be careful with time, tense, and aspect in translating Greek.